Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekend love readings. These are from the 13th to the 15th of March. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. That's okay. If it's not, what is happening here? If it's not resonating for you this weekend, just hit the notification button if you haven't already and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on youtube shall we try this again all right cancer i don't know what's happening uh love messages for cancer please from the 13th to the 15th straight in there we go all right now um other way around Someone is, you're burdened by someone else's offer. I don't know whether it's because you don't, you're not interested or, but you, you feel kind of weighed down by this person's generosity. Um, oh, we're taking twos again. All right. You've got the five of pentacles in the upright, clarified by the queen of cups. Okay. Okay. Cancer. I'm going to take one more. Hang on, let me take one more. Just to round it out. There we go. Thank you. All right. Yes. All right. So you're feeling you're feeling um, kind of not overwhelmed, but like I said, burdened by someone's generosity or interest that they're showing you or their offer they might be constantly asking you out or trying to get you to date them or have something more serious you might already be dating and they want something more serious particularly with the king of pentacles um and you're that gives you a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety and i think it's because you're actually quite used to being alone um you are not this is not an unhappy five of five of pentacles because it's clarified by the queen of cups you just like your own space and you like your own um emotional space and you like your own physical space and you know you've kind of gotten used to being on your own which is fine but you do recognize that you are going to have to let down let let someone in and i think that that is a little bit scary over here you know with someone making such serious offers and pursuing you um it can be a bit overwhelming for uh to have to let someone in it's not even letting your guard in it's like letting this person into your comfy den um i am going to clarify that seven of wands in reverse as well just to get Oh, we're taking twos again. Okay, yeah. You, I think previously you've probably uh, been hurt by someone who was very selfish or people that said one thing and then did another. And that's the other reason why you're a bit, mm, I'm not sure about this. Um, it's, uh, it's scary to feel like you might let that person in again. Um, you've got the Knight of Swords and the King of Wands um but this is a king of pentacles this person is different to these people that you've had in the past so i don't think that you have to worry about that in this situation most likely outcome please for cancer oh cancer Oh, wow. Okay. So, look, I think that you are probably going to hurt this person's feelings by being a little bit too cutting. Um, but this is all because you're still healing from that past here. So you'll go on your way and continue to heal. I think you will turn them down quite abruptly. And that may hurt their feelings here with the Five of, um, five of Swords and the King of Swords um just i think the message here is be kind um sometimes this king of swords can be a little bit too vicious with his words um 
And I don't think that you mean it. I think it's more a protection protection mechanism. Now, these energies can be reversed. It could be you making the offer and this other person is going to be a little bit sharp with you or a little bit harsh with you and that will hurt, hurt your feelings. You need to be aware that this is about them and their own six of swords in reverse. This is a long-standing issue that they're trying to heal from, um, from their own history and baggage not to do with you no matter what they say it's actually not anything to do with you advice please Cancel advice. Oh, taken two. oh wow oh <laughs> so the emperor and the empress oh Okay, I'm going to keep going with the advice because that's pretty, like, amazing. <laughs> and they're the first two cards out, so they're only two cards out. The odds of that are pretty slim. All right, let's see what we've got here. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know how to say this without sounding like I'm being directive. <laughs> but it's uh, basically you shouldn't be passing this opportunity up is what I'm getting here. You could potentially be making an irreversible mistake by not giving this a shot. Um, and that will leave you Queen of Pentacles in reverse, which is not sharing your pentacle with anyone for probably quite some time. You may be better matched than even you realise because the Emperor and the Empress have come out together. They didn't come out side by side. They came out at the same time as clarifiers for each other, which... I can't even tell you the last time that that happened, to be honest, if ever. So it's like spirit saying, this is a perfect match. We've matched you. You're a perfect match. Don't just walk away from this because of fear. Um, don't walk away from this from because of fear of getting hurt. Because in the long run, this you may be more lonely than you anticipate. Okay. I think you need to, if this is resonating with you, carefully consider your options. These are signposts, like it's just a signpost. So if it's not resonating or if you really, really don't want to give this person any time of the day because they're weird or creepy or whatever, that's fine. But for those of you who can reflect and kind of recognize that maybe you're just a little bit five of like ingrained in your five of um, pentacles, not wanting to really let anyone in, maybe because of the past, you kind of like being isolated from the world. You might not like humans all that much or not spending a lot of time with humans. I know I get like that sometimes, which is why I'm laughing. But sometimes you need to reflect and go, okay, well, what's my long-term goal here? Do I want to be like this forever? Okay, if that's you and you're happy being like this forever, cool. I don't know that you're here for a love reading then. I'd be surprised if you're happy to sit in your tower and never talk to anyone again or not really interact with people and be happy in that state you will be happy in that state for a period of time sure but at some point humans are not solitary creatures we are you know social creatures and you may wish to socialize eventually this would be an opportunity now to pick that up and not walk away from that I hope that hasn't been too directive. I'm trying not to be too directive because at the end of the day, you guys have to do what's right for you. I'm not in your life. No one is in your life but you. So, but that's kind of what I'm reading here. So look, it might still not fit for you. That's great. 
but it might and just I guess my response is don't be stubborn is what I'm trying to say here very badly I'm saying it very badly I'm sorry cancer Oh, that was a lot. Okay, <laughs> let's do a romance angel. I'm scared to do a romance angel now. Oh, oh God. All right, romance angel. <laughs> no doubt there will be plenty of people that are very unhappy with what I am saying, which is fine. You're not forced here. If you don't like it, that's cool. There's lots of other places you can go on YouTube. All right, very interesting. So, flirt. Spirit is saying flirt. And I think flirt with this person because I suspect maybe by flirting you'll actually see a different side of them and they may you may actually see the side um, that will excite you, that will get you engaged, not engaged, engaged, but engage you with this person. Um, maybe you'll get engaged, engaged with the emperor and the empress, who knows. But I think flirting is a key point here because I feel like this person might be a bit stiff and it's because they you make them really nervous. So they're like in this serious, I am a king and I am here to offer you my pentacle. And that's a bit off-putting because it's a bit manufactured. So I think by flirting, you kind of give them the green light that it's okay to have some fun and it's fun for you as well, bringing those walls down like I said, I think you may see a different side to this person that maybe you haven't seen before and might just get you over the line. I don't think it's an accident that that's come out, that's for sure. All right, Cancer, you guys have a huge weekend. Like, please tell me what's going on. Who is the Emperor Empress? I bet you, I know that you know. So, um, yeah, there were, I expect there'll probably be cross watchers as well watching this. Um, so, yeah let's let's see what happens okay cancer don't forget to like and subscribe comment and i'll talk to you soon